Hi guys, Mark here. Thank you for joining me. In this video, we're going to be making a decorative cover which you can use on all sorts of pointy items. So on feds, marlin spikes, all sorts of spikes, all things like that. This sort of a cover provides some safety to your spikes, plus it is a nice looking decorative piece. In this particular demonstration, I'm going to be covering the spike of the Osborne Scratch All. So this is the Osborne 478. It has a thin, small spike. To cover our spike, three pieces of microcord, each three and a half feet long, are going to be more than enough. To start my tying, I take a piece of wood, I take my three strands and I cross them at the center. So something like this. Then, using my spike or some sort of a pin, I pin down my strands here at the center. This way, I get six even ends. In some cases, where your spike is a bit too blunt, you can't nail it into a piece of wood. In those cases, you work directly onto your spike without securing it in place. It's still doable, but a bit more challenging. We now continue with a single crown knot. So we pass our strands over one in the counterclockwise direction. So our first strand over one. The next one, over one. The next one, over one, and so on. The last of our strands, passes into our first loop. Like this. Then tighten up the knot. We now continue with an over two crown knot. So the same thing as before, just going over two. So our first strand passes counterclockwise over two. The next one counterclockwise over two. The next one counterclockwise over two and so on. When you have two strands remaining, your first one passes into the first loop, the last one 
passes over two strands here and under these two strands here, completing an over two crown knot. Tighten it up the same way as before. Continue the same way. So you take a strand and you do an over two. The next one over two. The next one over two. And so on. Until you have two strands remaining. Your first one passes into your first loop. The last one passes over two, then under two here under these two strands. Tighten up. Always make sure that your strands pass over two, under two in their sequence. Continue the same way all the way to the top of the spike. So an over two crown knot. Over two. Over two. Over two. Over two. Into your first loop. Then over two, under two, with your last strand. Tighten up, making sure that all of your strands are passing over two, under two. If you do all of your over two crown knots in the same direction, so counterclockwise, this is the luck that you're going to get. So a classic crown knot look. If you alternate your crown knots, one counterclockwise, then the next one clockwise, then again counterclockwise, clockwise and so on, you're going to get this sort of a look. So to spice things up, you can do one like this, maybe one like this, and see which you like best. When you reach the top of your spike, using your crown knot, pluck your spike out of the wood, push your crown knots down over the tip of your spike, Then add the last few over two crown knots, this time doing it freehand.
always check that you have the correct sequence going. So over 2, under 2. Repeat a couple of more times to cover the entire spike, again reaching the top. After covering our entire spike, we are going to add the final piece of tying. A diamond knot with the Spanish ring knot look. So to do this, we start by taking a strand, passing over under. Take the next strand and repeat over under. The next strand over under. The next one over under. The next one over under. And the final one here going over under. So this is step one out of the three. Now take a strand. Double up this one here, so we travel over under. The next one, again, doubles up this one, over under. Do this with all of your strands. It's now time for the final step. So here we take a strand, we pass over two, under two, splitting a pair of parallel strands. So our first strand, over two, under two. The next one, over two, under two. The next one, over two, under two, and so on. Do this with all of your strands. Our knot is now tied. To tighten up the knot, first pull on your six ends. Now 
Then pull the slack coming from the top crown knot through your knot. into one of your ends. Do this until you get a nice tight looking knot. So again, a strand coming from the top crown knot, pull the slack through the diamond knot, into one of the ends. When the knot is tightened up, we trim and melt the ends. Like this. I now pour boiling water over my knotwork to stiffen it up. As the final finishing touch, I'm going to coat my cover using some sort of a substance. You can use varnish, you can use shellac, in my case, I'm going to be mixing up a bit of water and wood glue. I'm going to do two to three coats. And that's our project. A nice looking practical cover for all sorts of spikes. Thank you very much for joining me today, consider supporting the site on Patreon and I'll see you next time.